Welcome to day three. Today, I wanna to answer some questions that people have been asking me about waltz and some general dance concept thingies. I don't think I have anything else to say this morning, so why don't we get the show on the road? Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about today relates to where we hold our weight in our feet. I can have my weight in the ball of my foot, I can have my weight in the heel, or I can have my weight midfoot. And now we will play with all three of these different places in our feet, in waltz in particular. So here's the question people are asking. When I take a step forward, where should my weight be in my feet? And I think we can expand that question by saying, when we take a step in any direction, where should the weight be in our feet? And we're mainly concerned with forward and back step. The idea is that if I'm going to take a forward step, I want my weight to be back in my heels a little bit. Now, not so much that I'm rolling so far back that my toes are coming off the ground, but back far enough that I feel like I can tap my toes up and down like that. Stepping backwards, it's the exact opposite. We have to have our weight forward into the balls of our feet so that we can click our heels up and, up and down. Again, not so far forward that we're gripping on with our toes there. Let me show you why it's important that we have our weight in the right place in our feet. So if I want to take a step forward and my weight's already in my toe, I can't really take a good step. Uh, I end up taking a step with my toe, which limits the size of my step, and particularly in waltz, we want to take big steps. So if I have my weight in my heel, that frees up my leg to move forward, and I can then take a big heel lead. The reason why I want our weight to be in the toe when we're moving backwards is that if I put my weight in my heel like this, you can even see my whole body shift backwards. What happens is, the leader is gonna feel like they're getting pulled forward. Additionally, when I take a step backwards, I can't really take a full step because I'm just catching myself. But if I put my weight forward into the balls of my feet, I have this freedom to move my leg backwards and out of the way and I can take one big, massive step. What that looks like when we're actually moving is this. Weight back in my heels and I lower. I'm gonna take a step and I can get all the way up onto my toes here if I want. But as I get ready to take my next step, I lower, my weight shifts back to my heel and my right foot that is free to move. I take a step, one, I'm so low. I go up for two, all the way up on my toes for some people, and then down to the heel uh, and ready to take that next step. Same applies going backwards. I take my step, I'm already low, one, all the way up onto my toes, and I'm just gonna stay forward of my toes a little bit so that this left leg is free to move all the way up to the toes and then down to the toe here. If I were to go to the heel, I would already be pulling you into the next step. I hope that makes sense uh, to all of you. If you have any questions about that, please ask that in the comments below. On to question number two. This could be very tricky if you overthink it, but let's try not to overthink it. It's how the heck we rotate the box, whether it's the left box or the right box. Really all we're doing is shifting the direction of our movement with every step that we take. So what that means is I'm stepping forward here if I'm doing a left box and I move side close or I'm going back side close. Notice I'm stepping directly forward for my hip. In order to rotate the box, I change the direction of my step. So I move my hips to the left for the left box, and I still take a forward step, if you can see that, from uh, the left box. So I rotate my hips and shoulders this way, and I take a forward step from there. On the side step, I keep it square. And then as I move backwards here, I rotate my hips to the left again, and I take a back step straight back from my hip, and then the side close. The same thing applies for the right box. However, we're gonna to rotate to the right in that box. The right box, I'm stepping forward with my right foot, but I'm gonna to rotate to the right, hips and shoulders, and then I go side close, and then the same thing back, I'm rotating to the right, straight back from my hip, side close. So no matter, no matter how much we rotate the box, we're still taking a forward step on the front half of the box and a back step on the back half of the box. We're just rotating our body and our foot is following that rotation. 
Again, a concept that can be fairly difficult to grasp. If you need more help, uh, ask a question in the comments below.